Hello, this is Rupinder Seyal and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. Today, I'm going to give a brief update about the Covishield and the Covaxin vaccines in India, as well as the controversy regarding the denial of Covaxin by Brazil earlier. Now, it has been approved by Brazil and its authorities and visa. So let's talk about this issue. Covishield and Covaxin have been administered to crores of Indians in India. So in the latest data released by the Covin portal, about 21 crore people have been uh, given the dose of Covishield and about 2.8 crore people have been given Covaxin. So a lot of people have been immunized and so far there have not been many adverse events reported, although that is also a little bit of a Part of a concern but overall the vaccine is safe now as i reported in my last video brazil regulator and visa had denied the import of 20 million doses of covaxin based on their visit to the uh, bharat biotech's production facilities in telangana and they denied it because they said that it did not meet their good manufacturing practice requirements now, the response by Dr. K. Ella, who is the MD of Bharat Biotech, in one of the interviews given to NDTV on 22nd of April, he said that this is nationalism, okay, this, is, this has to do with politics, this is not science. You know, he said some countries just want to delay the Indian vaccine and each country wants to defame the other country, which of course sounds plausible and I think politics has some role to play in or could be responsible for this but it is definitely not the case here as you can see from many of the statements so for example brazil as you know is one of the other nations which has been really hit by corona and you can see that brazilian president bolsonaro who is under criticism for you know mishandling and for the large amount of deaths he basically compared the vaccines to the Sanjeevani booty plant in the Ramayana. So he's really thankful to Indian government for providing the vaccine. But you can't skip the safety and efficacy of the vaccine just because you're desperate to get that vaccine. Okay, Brazil has the second highest number of coronavirus deaths in the world. So it is not nationalism, it is not politics, it is just science. And Bharat Biotech it herself, you know, the, the company itself admitted it partly. So on 5th of June, uh, the Wire and other news agencies reported that Brazil has approved limited doses of Covaxin with strict conditions, same conditions, GMP, good manufacturing practices. So initially they had placed an order of 20 million doses and now they are just saying we will approve only 4 million. And they have also approved that they, the Bharat Biotech will conduct scientific trials clinical trials in Brazil to test the batch to batch variability as well as the safety and efficacy of the vaccines. And again, you can see the statements here by Alex Campos, the director of Envisa. I emphasize that the exceptional and temporary import of the quantity 4 million is authorized corresponding to doses of immunization of 1% of their population. And the approval is being recommended because of the improvements made by Bharat Biotech in its manufacturing pra practice after an inspection of its plant by Envisa technicians in April. So this is after the first visit which was in March where they denied the approval. And you can see that it is not about nationalism, it is about science. So what has been approved by Envisa? It has granted approval to vaccines made by Pfizer and AstraZeneca. And this is being produced in Rio de Janeiro, so that's Brazil itself. But there are three other vaccines who have been granted only emergency approval. One is their own vaccine, again, CoronaVac of Butanta Institute of Sao Paulo. Their own Brazilian vaccine. They have not approved it yet. Janssen of US, again, a multinational corporation. So they are not you know, out to get us or anybody. And Covishield of Serum Institute of India. These have received only emergency use authorization. So it's not about nationalism. It's not about politics. It is about 
making sure that the vaccine is safe and effective because already people are very hesitant about vaccines they have so many misconceptions and there is so much misinformation about vaccines that it is the utmost responsibility of companies like Bio Bharat Biotech as well as AstraZeneca and all the people uh, companies who are making vaccines to make absolutely sure that they leave no leaf unturned to make sure that this vaccine is safe to show the people that it is safe by being transparent about the data and coming out clean and these are the conditions all batches to be destined for brazil must have been manufactured after the adaptations of the good manufacturing practices implemented by bharat biotech according to the corrective and preventive action report CAPA presented to Invisa where they promised this would happen and the regulator said narrating a slew of conditions for the importing of Covaxin. So there it is. It is right there. They are not against any company or anybody. They just want good vaccines. And Bharat Biotech itself, you know, filed new requests with Invisa on the issues of good manufacturing practices and Invisa recently authorized the conduct of clinical trials of Covaxin in Brazil. Now there are three related and complicated issues about vaccine that really are entangled sometimes. One is the safety of the vaccine, whether the vaccine is just safe, whether you will be harmed by taking the vaccine. When another is vaccine efficacy, how effective it is in protecting you against the pathogen, the virus, the bacterium and the immunogenicity, which is that how good it is in promoting the production of antibodies in your system. There are three different issues and those three are totally separate, interconnected, but overall they make a good vaccine if all three issues are taken care of. Now, what is good for Covaxin? Safety, it has done that. It is safe. So no matter where you are, if you get Covaxin, you should get it. It's not going to harm you. Immunogenicity. It has been proven, it has been shown in scientific trials, clinical trials, that it produces almost identical immune response and antibody production in your body as Covishield or Sputnik V. So immunogenicity is also taken care of. Now efficacy. This is where some scientists and people like me sometimes, you know, they are pressing the government as well as uh, companies to release the phase three, the last clinical trial data so that they are absolutely sure about the final efficacy. And there has been a lot of time spent between the initial approval of Covaxin and the release of phase three clinical trials. And preliminary trials, they have already shown Covaxin to be about 80% effective, 80.6%. And this is a good enough number. So I'm not doubting Covaxin. If anybody is doubting Covaxin, I would want to, you know, make them rest assured it is a safe vaccine. It is a immunogenic vaccine. We are only talking about data transparency and a little bit of haste, which was just unnecessary. And here you can see the data, Covaxin efficacy about 81% works against many of the variants. Now data is coming out that it is good against many Delta variants and as well as other variants also. Here you can see the efficacy data of other vaccine. So Bharat Biotech 80.6%, Pfizer 95, 94, anything above 80% is good enough. And as you can see, many of the commenters in my last video had said, you know, why don't you request information from Bharat Biotech or Government of India regarding these issues? Of course, people are doing that, you know. There, is, there has been a public interest litigation filed by many uh, scientists as well as concerned individuals. They are seeking data from Covaxin as well as Covishield also because Covishield was also granted an emergency use approval and it had bridging trials going on. So they also have to, do, to produce that data and it should be made public. And the PIL here names the Union Health Ministry, the CDSCO Central Drug Standards Control Organization, ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, Bharat Biotech and Serum Institute of India. All are the respondents. They are the, you know, they should respond and they should clear the air about it. And before the rollout, actually this was in January, this has been reported in Telegraph, that many of the prominent scientists of India who were closely involved with looking at the data which was coming out for you know, efficacy and safety of these vaccines, they were, you know, a little bit cautious about rolling out these vaccines 
before all the clinical trial data was out. Now the logic was that you know 30 million frontline health workers needed to be inoculated and we already had 30 million Covishield doses available. So they could have waited for a little while for Covaxin data to be out and they could have ramped up the production later on and they you know released this press release that we express our concern about the inadequacy of publicly available information on which the approvals have been issued. A greater degree of transparency prior to the start of the vaccine program is essential. This is especially true for Covaxin, for which phase 3 safety and efficacy data are not yet available. This was the concern back in January. We appreciate the efforts. Look, nobody is against these companies. They appreciate the hard work and the immense amount of labor that this company has done as well as the other companies have done to make sure that the vaccine is ready in record time. This is unprecedented. And the vaccine that Bharat Biotech is making, it is a humongous task to make that vaccine. It is an inactivated virus vaccine. It is really, really hard to make because you have to grow the virus in huge amounts of cultures and you have to inactivate it. So it is a lot more dangerous and, lot, and a very ambitious task to produce this kind of vaccine in such a huge amount. So I salute Bharat Biotech, but I think they should do more to clear the air and to be transparent about their data. And they are also saying that we appreciate the efforts that Bharat Biotech and ICMR have put in to develop a vaccine formulation. Okay, it, it is imperative that relevant data from the larger phase 3 trial becomes available before administering the vaccine to large numbers of people. But that did not happen. It was ruled out and now you can see about 2 crore people have been inoculated with Covaxin. And we still don't have the phase 3 clinical trial complete results. And these are the people, these are, you can see from all the good institutes of India, National Institute of Biomedical Genomics, Center for Human Genetics, CCMB, Indian Institute of Science, uh, Institute of Medical Sciences, all good institutes. These are prominent Indian scientists expressing their concern. And I think Indian government and the concerned regulatory authorities should have paid heed to these voices. And even the co Covaxin clinical trials were kind of, you know, very much, uh, you know, hurried upon. Uh, ICMR Director General uh, Balram Bhargav wrote a letter which I think many uh, doctors were up in arms against because it was really hurried because the phase 1 trials was, begin, was to begin from July 13th last year and duration was to be 15 months and 12 hospitals were enrolled by ICMR for these trials and they said okay we will begin the trial on August 15th. Okay, so the haste was I think unnecessary and again there is a cloud of secrecy here public health experts urge government to release details of adverse event data all the vaccines all the normal medicines they have some side effects as we have seen for for other vaccines also some blood blood clot issues and so on although they are a minority of side effects but we should be able to you know screen and have access to that data so that proper measures can be taken so that sensitive populations and people who are you know likely to get those adverse effects should be you know made to wait a little bit before we administer these vaccines and again scientists and public health experts are you know pressing the government as well as these companies for data related to serious adverse events in uk for example all the spontaneous reports after the vaccination are available in the public domain. There are databases where you can just go and search what kind of adverse events are uh, you know, present after the immunization or administration of the vaccine. These are called AEFI, adverse events following immunization. And these are available in the public domain. So many public health officials, they are requesting the government of India to make a portal so that this data is available. And you can see again reports coming out again and again, we want adverse event data. So this is one example of this data. This is vaccine adverse event reporting system put in place in US. So here many people, you know, 
who report these adverse events they can go and log in and get the details about adverse events so i think government should also you know track the adverse events as well as provide data about it right now the the dashboard coven portal that we have it has adverse events data but it is not categorized and it is not available in complete detail so i think there needs to be work done for that so the final point i think i should make is efficacy of the vaccines available in india covaxin covishield and sputnik v they are equivalent according to dr randeep kuleria director of aims so that is the take home message if you want a one line summary go get the vaccine we we are just arguing about the transparency of the data as well as the you know availability of trial data so don't worry about that if you are not into you know science or the uh, politics behind it uh, if you are just concerned whether you should get the vaccine or not the answer is a resounding yes get covaxin get covishield get sputnik v whatever you can get your hands on please do get the vaccine okay so this was my discussion of kind of an update about the issue thank you for your feedback regarding the previous video i hope you will like this video too if you have any doubts comments or questions you are always welcome to provide it in the comment section below i will try to answer as soon as i can thank you for watching and i'll see you next time